Well, this is going to be bloody interesting. Um, so I've had the seagull running at home, um, and I thought rather than sticking it straight on the yacht and going to see if it's all going to work, I'll stick it on the dinghy and uh, and just go for a little tooty up and down the harbour here at home. But the problem is, well, there's a number of problems. The, <laughs> the problem I'm going to mention first is that I've, I've, you tighten a thing up on these and I did that so I can't steer it so I may actually have to use the paddle to steer it and uh, look at the pollution though like I only just I haven't even started it yet so um, anyway let's see if the thing will start it was a little bit entertaining getting it started at home the thing is particularly well unbalanced oh, um, yeah, that's not very good. That's a really not a good start, but I want to just bloody see if it's going to all go. So let's just get into it and see what happens, really. Um, see, I can't turn it, so... Right, hold up. But that's the first pull. And, uh, yeah, like I said, who knows how the hell this is going to go. But it, it beats coming down here with the yacht. And, uh... Sorry about that little mower. Council guys mowing the lawns. It beats coming down here with the yacht, I think. And uh, getting it all working. So we'll see how it goes. Right, number two, Paul. I guess you have the throttle about there. Who knows, really? I don't. Let's try it about there. Oh, wow, it almost went, though. That sounded very promising. Sounds like I'm going to have to bloody get my A into G when it does go. And because it's going to go fast. That sounded very promising though. So let's see. Number three pull. Less promising. Is that fuel drifting out there? God, it all feels here in McCleary. And there's, and there's bloody... Um, yeah, this feels real hairy McCleary to me. Right, but anyway. Yeah, that sounded like it wanted to go, didn't it? Promising in the way that it's promising. And really not promising in the ways that it's not. Let's see how we go this time. Well, the problem is though, geez, you wonder probably if I had half a brain I row out and that way I wouldn't have to contend with the thing but no I'll keep going let's see hello seagulls it's nice to hear you again it's been locked down so I haven't been in the water for so long so even if I don't really care how well this goes it's good to be having some sort of adventure right now I reckon I probably want some more fuel do you hear it's almost going got no neutral so god knows what's going to happen when this bloody does go part of me doesn't even want it to go right let's see now you mean to push that until the fuel comes out up there i can't see it so i'm pushing that until the fuel comes out I should really check to see that it's got fuel. That would be a smart thing to do, wouldn't it? Um, but, but I don't want to make two videos, so let's just give it a couple more goes. Or is it going to be one of those edited videos where you see me in two minutes with a big smile on my face motoring up down the harbour, going, here, yeah, life's easy. Now, uh, let's keep it real. Hold on. Do you hear that? The problem was though, it bloody took off, which was grouse, but then I couldn't, um... Hey, that sounds promising though. So what I'll do, is I'll just have this on a continuous line, and if it does take off this time, I'll push off. And that way, we'll be away, and, uh, and hope. But that sounded real promising, I don't know what pool we're on. Are we on the 5th, 6th, 10th? Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? But let's get back into it and uh, see if we can get this thing from 
19 bloody 60s or whatever it is going now um, I reckon pump that a few times that seemed to help and then let's see I think that, I mean, yeah, it doesn't get a chance to warm up, does it? So I'm just so confused. Hey, if you know how to operate these bloody things, you can see what I'm doing wrong. I looked for a choke the other day, I can't find one. But if you can tell me what I'm doing wrong, apart from just being a nut in general, then, then uh, that would be really helpful. Right, here we go. Hopefully we're not going to crash. Steering the best I can. Well, that was uneventful. I think we might need to uh, end the video there. Unless I can get this on real quick. I mean, I've got to admit, you know, there's for all this ink definitely adds a sense of how chaotic to the situation um, right here we go bang into the thing the tide's pushing us you see so all things considered as nutty as that was in a way it was quite fun you know we <laughs> so, <laughs> so what the hell do we do now it really didn't sound great did it I mean that, the backfiring was not terrific so what I'm going to do now basically is I'm going to try and get that running again but maybe with two hands it might help because I'm doing that with one hand and one hand on the camera I ain't got one of those flash GoPro hoodakies and I don't really want one so I um, probably will get one one oh, at least I'll talk about that so I'm going to give that one more go and, um, and if it goes I'm just going to whip that off hold on, no hold on Jason think about this because the tide is pushing us into this so really I don't need a rope on there that sounds like famous last words doesn't it yeah I don't need a rope for holding on the boat it's all good <laughs> um, but hold on I'll give this another couple of pulls the tide is really ripping through here and then if I do go I'll push off real good and then um, I'll try and hold the camera it's all a bit hairy McCleary when is it ever not been? And who cares? Right, let's give it another go. You ready? Of course you are. Well, I mean, that sounded promising, didn't it? You know, I should have really checked the fuel. Um, that's in the common sense box. Um, but not today. Oh, almost though. I got the, I get the impression that if I push off, give it a few herbies, and it sort of gives itself a chance to run, you know, because you know the equivalent of sitting there and idling and just sort of coming right. You got dropped. What a hoot! You're still recording though. Look at that. Right. Usually I. Stops recording. This one obviously was meant to be. What exciting shit's about to happen? Let's find out. Right. Drop the throttle a bit. Give it a good pull. No. But that seemed to work when I pumped that before. Oh, that's actually going underwater. Geez, that's not meant to be like that, is it? Whoa, you don't want that bloody going underwater. They'll be taking water into the fuel. Man, I can just see people going to have a field day telling me what I'm doing wrong with this today having the camera on one hand though and uh, not being fully present it's got to be not good right I'm going to give this a go and this is probably the last time you're going to be with me doing it because I want to um, give this my full attention so um, give it like one more pull are you ready give it a bit of throttle let's see if this works 